My name is Ted Gannon. I'm a licensed acupuncturist and I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. This is Rosanna Giuliani and I came in from um, north of Philadelphia. I flew in from New York City. From Maryland. I'm from Chicago. I'm a licensed acupuncturist slash registered nurse. What are you doing here in Santa Fe? I'm learning, learning, learning. Welcome to level two. My name is Tammy Stocker. I'm the executive director for the Neuroacupuncture Institute. This weekend, we're gathering our first ever group of level two students to complete a comprehensive training in neuroacupuncture. So we bring in world-class teachers from all over the world that bring their knowledge and expertise, which we feel is in collaboration with teaching neuroacupuncture. When Jason told me that he was doing this uh, neuroacupuncture, I was very much interested in it because it was based in the neuroanatomy. And he said, I want you to come and teach the neuroanatomy from your perspective. I thought about that for a minute and said, you know, I'll be happy to do that because it really fit my mission with what doctors need to be like in the future. Seven. What? What? Seven. Neuroacupuncture is a contemporary acupuncture technique integrating traditional needling methods with Western medicine neuroscience, neurology, and neuroanatomy. Scap acupuncture is really good for, you know, the situation like a stroke and the MS and the dramatic brain injury, uh, Parkinson children's situation, including like autism, also the, uh, concussion, brain injury included. Many people come to see us, a few treatment, their life completes their change. So partly is the technique, it's understanding, you know, how to assess the patient from a Western standpoint, which is nice, right? So we're always using Western neuroanatomy with a Chinese bent, right? And then we're going to go to levels where we start looking at now functional medicine, integrative medicine. So we're going to teach all the practitioners, whether an MD or an acupuncturist, how to understand microbiome. How do you understand healthy lifestyle? How do you understand inflammation in the immune system? And once you get that, even the treatments then will sustain even longer. Our program is structured in a way that we reach both Western trained physicians as well as doctors of oriental medicine and licensed acupuncturists. So to come to our training, you have to have some experience of acupuncture and, and be approved um, to give that as a treatment option. We have a three-level process that the students will go through. Level one is really the introduction to neuroacupuncture. We teach them some of the basics about needling for scalp acupuncture in particular. And then we also introduce the neuroanatomy, neuroexamination side of it. And then we introduce some case studies to actually teach the students how to treat a specific case. This week we happen with level two to be able to introduce them to an MS patient. It's our first time We've had a stroke patient that we've never seen before this week. So a variety of illnesses that the students get to watch hands-on how you deal with each patient separately. Would you like to check the post? Come here. Yeah. 20 years ago when she was in college, she was at a restaurant in Bogota. There was a uh, uh, cartel-related shooting, and she unfortunately got caught in the middle of it. And, got shot in the back, so. The bullet got through the lung and then stuff on the spine. So I couldn't even sit down or go to a bathroom or not even my legs. Her situation <laughs> the, uh, was uh, gum shots, is a damage in the T4, T5. It's happened a lot with uh, beside the heart walking violence, right? 3.5. Centimeters. When she did acupuncture, I feel like energy getting from the part where the needle was all the way down to the feet, and I feel like I'm, I don't know, some energy going through. I couldn't lift even like this my leg before before like, the yeah. treatment. After the treatment, what I did is I, I asked him to lift up. She yeah. did a lift up. I lift, yeah, and mm -hmm. I can do the ease. That is. It's amazing for go, go another steps. The key of them being the Bruce Lee's, and I always keep making that joke, is because there's a subtlety of practice, right? So 40 years and tens of thousands of patients. You know, everybody can kind of follow a recipe, but the chef knows specific, you know, Chinese secrets, as we would say. And this is something that in, in the neuroacupuncture, what is so 
beneficial about, about Dr. Linda Howe and Dr. Jason Howe is that it's really open source. They're really here to teach everybody to be as good as they are because at the end of the day, there's millions of people that need treatment. I came to level one and uh, went back right away and started using the techniques uh, with a lot of good and interesting results. Uh, so I'm back uh, level two to uh, continue learning more. Using the neural uh, training that I learned in level one, was able to uh, take the pain and swelling away of her gout attack. I do an office acupuncture uh, twice a month at a business, and I have the opportunity to pretty much do 35 patients in one day, and all of them get some sort of neural acupuncture. I have to actually say, Mom, the next day, don't go and spend 45 minutes at the gym. Just take it easy. Our profession, overall, we work so hard but there's a quite a bit people they struggle in their life to get more patient and uh, so get enough income support themselves and their family. So we want to train you more people know this, help more people same time transfer their life, set higher bar for their life, make a different skills and they get more patient as well too. So that's uh, another reason we want to do this. I have the dream to share the, our knowledge of Chinese medicine and especially scalp acupuncture to benefit the people, to help them use our healing hands to transform the people's life. I already see the dream becomes true and uh, we have a lot to do. They want to create a family, which is what this is. It is a Neuro Acupuncture Institute family that's strong. We all feed off of each other. We all have the opportunity to grow together. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> all right.